Hey, scientists. Today, I want to talk to you all about the life cycle of a worm. So we've talked about this a little bit with our fish, talked about how fish hatch from eggs and how some fish like to live with other fish and some fish don't. And I think you're probably very familiar with this concept or this idea because we've um, also talked just a little bit about butterflies, about how butterflies start from a cocoon or a chrysalis and then they hatch, um, the caterpillars hatch from their chrysalis and become butterflies. So the earthworm has the unique life cycle because it starts in a cocoon just like this. It says the cocoons and earthwork earthworm makes are much smaller than a grain of rice. So think about a grain of rice, even smaller than that is the cocoon that an earthworm lives in. It keeps baby worms safe. Sometimes soil is too dry for the baby worms. When this happens, the cocoon can remain dormant or alive, but not active for years until it is safe for the baby to hatch. So the baby's only going to hatch when there's real dry, or sorry, really wet and good soil for the worm to live in. So then it says baby earthworms hatch from cocoons. When, they're ha when they hatch, they are only half 0.5 to one inch long. Ooh, so maybe you could get out your ruler after this and measure one inch and you'll see how tiny worms are when they're first born, when they first hatch. These worms will reach full size at about one years old. Wow. But they can have their own babies in only six weeks. The next thing, is number two, this is the next part of the earthworm cycle. The earthworm has both male and female parts. That means that an earthworm can mate with any other worm of the same species. When they, when they mate, each worm helps the other worm fertilize the eggs. So that's how they make more worm babies. Or <clears throat> during mating, a cocoon forms, this is the third step. During, during mating, a cocoon forms on a wide segment called the clitellum on each side of the worm's body. The worm then backs out of these cocoons and places them in the soil. Then the cocoons will hatch two or three weeks later and the whole cycle will start again. So pay very close attention to this because today we're going to be making um, our very own earthworm life cycle. We're going to be making a picture of our very own earthworm life cycle. 